okay, with this song, I'm going to start with the left hand. So remember finger numbers, the thumb is always finger number one and the pinky finger number five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we're going to start with finger number one or the thumb on a D. Now the D that we're going to play is in the third octave up from the bottom of the keyboard. Okay, notice to find the D, we're going to look for two black notes and the D is right in the middle of them. And it's the third time that that happens from the bottom of the keyboard. Okay, so starting with this D, we're then going to go to an A down here with finger number three. Okay, so we have D, A, and then with finger number two, I'm just going to go one white note to the right, that's a B, and then an F sharp with my pinky there. Okay, so we have D, A, B, F sharp. Finger one, three, two, five. And now, when we play this F sharp with finger five, you may want to adjust your finger to move it to finger number three before playing the next note. That'll just make it easier to get to the next note, which is a G here, which we're going to play with finger two. Okay, so we have D, A, B, F sharp, adjust to finger three, then play a G with finger two, and then a lower D with finger five. Okay, so again we have finger one, three, two, five, move to three, two, five, and then we're going to use finger three on the G and finger two on the A. Okay, so once again we have D, A, B, F sharp, switch fingers, G, D, G, A. And with the finger numbers, one, three, two, five, switch to three, two, five, three, two. Now that left hand that I just showed you is actually going to repeat three times in a row. So let's go ahead and do it three times in a row. Now each time that left hand plays, each of those three times, the right hand is going to be doing something different. The first time, the right hand does nothing. The left hand plays all by itself the first time. Let's go over what the right hand does the second time. Okay, so we're going to start with our pinky or finger number five on a high F sharp here. Now to find an F sharp, Look for three black notes in a row, and the F sharp is the leftmost black note. Okay, now I'm hitting it right now one octave lower, it's actually going to be up here. Okay, and that is the third F sharp from the top of the piano keyboard. Okay, we're going to play that F sharp with our pinky. From there, this F sharp with our pinky or finger number five, we're going to play an E with finger four, which is this white note to the left of it. 
and write to the right of the two black notes. Okay, so we have F sharp, E with finger four, and then D with finger three, and C sharp with finger two. Okay, so again, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, finger five, four, three, two. And then from the C sharp, we're going to play a B here with our thumb or finger number one. So we have F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, and then we're going to cross over with finger two to an A. Okay, so again, finger five, four, three, two, one, cross over, two, and then back to the one on the B, and then to a C sharp, which I'm going to play with finger four. That'll set us up nicely for the next part. Again, finger five, four, three, two, one, cross over, two, back to one, and four. Okay, let's do that right hand part we just learned with the left hand. So remember, the left hand is going to be playing a D with finger one, while the right hand plays this F sharp with finger five. Okay, and from there, we have the D and the F sharp. Remember, the right hand is coming down to the E with finger four, while the left hand plays this A with finger three. Okay, so we have, and then the right hand is going to come down to a D with finger three, while the left hand plays this B with finger two. So, and then the right hand is going to play C sharp with finger two, while the left hand plays an F sharp with finger five. And then it's going to switch that finger to finger three. So again, we have. Switch to finger three. And then we have a G with finger two in the left hand. While we play a B with finger one in the right hand. Okay, so. switch, and then a D with finger five in the left hand, while playing the A with finger two in the right hand. So again, switch to three, and now finger three in the left hand on the G, back to one on the right hand, and then finger two on the A in the left hand with finger four on the C sharp in the right hand. Okay, let's do that whole thing again. One more time. Okay, let's go back to the right hand and do the last part. So remember we ended with finger four on the C sharp. From there, we're going to use finger five or our pinky on this D, but at the same time, we're going to play an F sharp with finger two. So we have finger two on the F sharp and finger five on the D. From there, we're going to move to finger four on the C sharp, and the F sharp is going to move to an E with finger one or the thumb. Okay, so we have fingers two and 
five, fingers one and four. Again, we have the F sharp and D, and then the E and C sharp. From the E and C sharp, we're going to kind of cross both fingers over the original two that we used, the pinky and finger number two, to this position. So finger five is playing a B, and finger two is playing a D. So again, we have fingers two and five on the F sharp and D, one and four on the E and C sharp, and then cross over to two and five again on the D and B. Okay, again, we have F sharp and D, E and C sharp, D and B, and then we're going to use fingers one and four again on the C sharp and A. Okay, so we have And then we're going to cross over again with the same fingers, and we're going to play a B with finger two and a G with finger five. Okay, so we have F sharp and D, E and C sharp, D and B, C sharp and A, B and G. And then again with fingers one and four, we'll do A and F sharp. Okay, so fingers two and five, one and four, two and five, one and four, two and five, one and four. And then we're going to go to B and G with fingers one and five, slightly different from the earlier fingering. Okay, so again we have F sharp and D, E and C sharp, D and B, C sharp and A, B and G, A and F sharp, B and G, and finally we're going to end on C sharp and E. Okay, so that C sharp and E ends with fingers two and three. Okay, again. Okay, let's put that last part that we just did together with the left hand now. So remember, in the right hand, we have this D and F sharp with fingers two on the F sharp and five on the D. And at the same time, we have finger one playing the D in the left hand. Okay, and now the left hand is going to go to an A with finger three, while the right hand moves to E and C sharp with fingers one and four. Okay, so we have, and from there, the left hand will play the B with finger two, while the right hand crosses over and uses finger two on the D and five on the B. So. Okay, again. And now we're going to use finger five on the F sharp with the left hand, while the right hand plays C sharp and A with fingers one and four. So again we have... Okay, so we have... Notice finger two on the B in the left hand and finger two on the D and five on the B in the right hand. And then we have 
the pinky on the F sharp with fingers one on the C sharp and four on the A. So again, and now remember we're going to subtly switch to finger three so that we can easily get to the G which is next here. So it's switch fingers. And then when we play this G with the left hand, we're going to move to our B and G with fingers two and five in the right hand. So. Okay, and now we have a D with our pinky or finger five while we play A with finger one and F sharp with finger four in the right hand. So it's... Okay, now remember we're going to switch to finger three in the left hand on the G while we use fingers one and five on the B and G in the right hand. So, and then the left hand goes to an A with finger two, while the right hand plays the C sharp and E with fingers two and three. Okay, now let's do the whole thing, beginning with the left hand by itself. Okay, so I just want to mention that you could add a little bit of subtle pedal. I wouldn't add too much. I like to just add it in only when I feel like I'm not able to hold notes down during certain changes. For example, when I go from here to here, notice there's a little tiny bit of silence. So I might hold the pedal down there, right, while I release that until I play that note and then release it while that note is playing. So like here, pedal, release, pedal, release, pedal, release. Just a little bit very subtly. Okay, I'm just going to do the whole thing one more time with a little bit of pedal when I feel I need it. <laughs> 